Hello? Okay. Why did my microphone just randomly stop working? That's great. That's a $300 microphone. That's that's awesome. That's absolutely awesome. It's absolutely awesome. What's up, Lord Bucko? How you doing, man? We're doing a quick early stream today. It's my good friend and roommate's birthday. So we're going to do this pretty quick. I have until about 3.30. About like 3.30, okay? Until like 3.30. <laughs> so we're going to get th we're gonna get through this. Because I don't know. I got bored. And I started looking back into the art commentary community again. And I remember talking about this with Beckett. But then I saw Kumu make a video on it. How are you at work on a Saturday? Dark Viper responded to more of my tweets. I am aware I bully bullies. I am very much aware. Very much aware. Your number one... I Thank you for being my number one fan. I think you say that like every time. I don't know if I believe you. Oh, I forgot to put it on low latency too. Oh, oh well. I'll have to read this stuff late. <laughs> it's whatever. Let's see here. But right now we're just going to kind of like kill a little bit of time. I'll talk to chat for a bit. I'm going to shave this shit off my face. I swear to God. I'm getting rid of it. It's getting worse. I can't handle the itch anymore. Retail hell. Yeah, don't. If if you guys can do anything in your lives, or <laughs> find a job outside of retail. Like, quit your job, please. Retail is like soul crushing. I've done it before. I will never go back. I, I can't do it. I'd rather, like, be, like, doing sales or, like, working for a company that is barely known. But I respect you for working that job, dude. I mean, I work at a grocery store almost every day, lol. Damn. That's rough, bro. Are you looking at Saturdays, too? I just put up this weekend off. Man, America sucks. Working Saturdays? Are you still looking into the Leo Convoy situation? I am, actually. I'm keeping eyes on it. I just haven't talked about it. There's nothing that's been, like, interesting to me about the Leo stuff. Right? Ah, yes, Chris, with iconic narc glow. So true. Very iconic. Very iconic. What about making well, pizzas? Okay, if you're making pizzas, it's kind of based. It's kind of based. It's kind of based. Let's see here. I'm just trying to figure this out because I've been looking into the Leo Convoy stuff more and more, you know, but there's like nothing that's been interesting. Everybody sucks ass in it. Nobody is good. Everyone's an asshole. <laughs> Not a single person is a good person in this story except Beckett. I like Beckett. Everyone else sucks. Everyone else sucks. What's up from Denmark? I can't believe I have people outside of the U.S. that watch me. That's crazy. Oh, God. The Dark Viper fans found the video. <laughs> they are not happy. <laughs> they are so unhappy with that video I put out. They are pissed. It's like... <laughs> I didn't even say anything that bad. Thank you for the 10 months, by the way, Mike. Thank you for getting us started. But, like... They are mad. Really mad. He's a furry. I am the farthest from a furry. I am so anti-furry. I believe that they need to be burned at the stake. Uh, have you seen what's been going on with the Alan Kister allegations? The person who accused him deleted her account. Yeah. Um, Brother Near uh, made actually like really good videos about it. I never covered it myself because it seemed pretty convoluted. And I want to try to get away from, like, doing more serious allegations. I just like to shit on. I just like to laugh at stupid shit, right? But Brother Near made an amazing video on that. Uh, what is it? Brother Near made an amazing video on the Alex Kister stuff. I recommend you watch his channel if you want to watch that stuff. What is this? Policy on copyrighted Rockstar Games material. What is this? 
Question, am I allowed to post game footage on YouTube or other websites? Can I use copyrighted material on fan sites if it's for non-commercial use and doesn't have spoilers? Answer, generally, Take-Two Interactive does not object to their fans using material for non-commercial uses in a manner which does not intentionally spoil the plot for others. Non-commercial means that you don't make money through the game footage you post or use the material part of promotion or product or service. Take-Two Interactive reserves the right. It has a copyright material take it down. I feel like that's kind of like pushing it because take two makes a lot of their promotion off of people like Dark Viper. So I can't sit there and be like, oh, take two, my copyright strike them. They're never going to do it. They're never going to do it. What's up, got him. What's up, dude? Enough evading. Did Dark Viper own you or no? I don't know. I didn't watch it. I just saw the I just saw the, uh, the thumbnail and the title and I started laughing my ass off. I can't watch it on stream. That's the part. Oh my god. This dude is crazy. Like a shave roll. And you roll around a bit. <laughs> you know what? Fair. You can make fun of my shitting shave job. You can make fun of that. They're coming at me for my shitty beard. I feel like Destiny now. I'm I'm so curious. I was like, it's supposed to mean lol. Wait, what? I don't even know. Chris is a scaly? Bro, I am not a scaly. These people are gross, bro. Furries are nasty human beings that shouldn't exist on the planet. I genuinely believe that. I genuinely believe that furries... Are gross. Your beard is kind of patchy, not gonna lie. No, dude, it's fine. I can't grow a beard, so I tried. I'm trying, but I'm definitely shaving it off before the next live stream. It's just, it's not worth the effort. It's not worth the effort. It's just not. Let's see here. Because, yeah, dude, I want to go over this video because I don't think I went over it in full with Beckett. Because Akumu made a video about it. And I actually, like, sat down and watched an Akumu video. Hold on. I, like, sat down and, like, actually watched a video with him. And apparently, like, the Doodle Tones person is working in tandem with Leo to try and build sympathy off of the, uh, what was the server again? The FCK server? It's, like, actually pathetic. Like, these people are pathetic. I recently started watching Chud Logic a few weeks ago. Funny guy. Yeah, Chud's great, bro. I use this image to illustrate Dark Viper's hypocrisy. If his arguments are used to apply to Rockstar to DM stay in because he violates their policies. Okay, fair enough. I'm just sitting here being like, there's no way Rockstar would actually do it. That's the thing. Shave during a live stream? I'm not going to shave during the live stream. I'm not Bob Blacks. I'm, I, I'm not Bob Blacks. I won't, I won't shave for money. <laughs> but I will, uh, I'll do it. Leo Convoy is over? From what I understand, not so much. So this Doodle Tones person... Somehow, with their shitty voice and their terrible artwork, have reached 16k subs, which is completely shocking to me. This person apparently had diaper fetish roleplay back in the day and got into a fight with Mr. Mediker. Mr. Mediker completely and utterly made fun of them to the point where they lost their mind, from what I understand, or tried to play it off like, oh, it's no big deal. Well, you're making fun of... You're making fun of somebody with a fetish. You're fetish shaming. You're king shaming. Yes. People like you need to be king shamed. Y'all remember when Chris showed you his time his tramp stamp tattoo? I don't have a tramp stamp tattoo. Fucking retard. This is interesting because apparently Doodle Toads is working with Leo. And I kind of want to see how this goes. <laughs> Thank you for the membership. Sliggins. Appreciate you. I want to see where this goes because apparently they have to address their fetish diaper role play <laughs> again. <laughs> Imagine that you, every time you get into the drama, you, you're like, fuck, it's that time of year again. It's that time of year again. I got to talk about my diaper fetish role play. <laughs> this person's pathetic. Video contains some Why is their voice so bad? How does this have 6.9k views? Their audio is dog shit. My audio is terrible, but this is fucking ass. Mm, triggering topics. Viewer discretion is advised. Mm. 
You got what you asked for. So far this year, not only have I been dealing with excessive cleanup from years prior in the SCC, but it looks like once again... How old is this person? How old are they that they draw like a fucking 12-year-old? Please tell me I'm not bullying a child. Somebody in chat tell me who's their age. Tell me. Please. This better not be a child. Because they fought with Medicare like eight years ago, so they can't be like a kid. They have to be an adult by now. They better be like... They're in their 30s. They're in their 30s. You're fucking with me. You are fucking with me. A 30-year-old... I shaved for 202 weeks ago. The beard is already back, so worth it, Emo. Yeah, we're, we're, definitely worth it. Definitely worth it. Gotta go, but this person's voice is totally... Uh, totality of a mosquito, so true. Doodle is in her 30s. Gross. How do you have shitty artwork, a bad fucking microphone, and have a diaper fetish roleplay allegation against you at your 30s? Late twenties. Okay, still too too old for this shit. Diaper fetish role play. You people make me sick. You people make me sick. I'm going to have to deal with excessive cleanup on my end because no one fucking understands anything and still wants to hold shit over my head from nearly a decade ago. Yes, because you had diaper fetish role play. It's funny to laugh at a degenerate freak like you. You're gross. That's why it's funny. It's... <laughs> I don't get these people. They're like, it happened 10 years ago. 10 years ago. Yeah, I hear, I'm hear. i hearing about it now, and it's really funny that you have diaper fetish roleplay. You sick fuck. So the inspiration for this particular iteration of me addressing the things that refused to let me go was Matt Lips Art, an ex-art commentator who decided to go salted earth when she didn't need to on Twitter, February 23rd. I, 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 but they didn't need to go with scorched earth. This earth. person's voice has the tonality of a mosquito. Uh, Leo convoy stuff. Uh, berated a retarded girl in a voice call, dox multiple people, threatened to go to their house to fight people. Screamed at a 15-year-old that he was going to, like, do something to do him. Then the 15-year-old said, I'll shoot you. So he called the cops on the 15. There's so much stuff. Got him. There's so much stuff. Like, I, I don't even know where to start. I, I started, like, getting taught it on a live stream. And I'm still, like, peace. Like, I get, the, I get the nuts and bolts. It's just, like, there's so many side stories. 2024. In this thread, she, very out of nowhere, may I add, throws extra shade on me after already saying that I was a bad person. Fuck you, Doodle Towns, for telling me you just had some diaper fetish stuff from 2014 when you like to sexually roleplay as a fucking eight-year-old. <laughs> what? <laughs> You've got to be shitting me. An eight-year-old. <laughs> Fuck you! You lied to me. You all you said was you have a diaper fetish roleplay. You didn't say that you pretended to be an eight year old. Why would you be okay with the first part of that? If anyone came to me and said, "Chris, I have a diaper fetish roleplay," I'd look at them and be like, "Get the fuck out of here! Don't talk to me. You're disgusting. There's nothing I want to do with you. Get the fuck out of my face." Doodle told Lily went on a whole ass internet beef with autistic robot because she, he disagreed about Pokemon or something. <laughs> I love these people. I love how autistic this community is. And then there's just me. The normal one. That just rolls up and just laughs at how retarded everyone is. <laughs> like, I'm <laughs> like, I'm just this guy that just will poke will poke my head in once in a while and then i hear diaper fetish role play and i, just, I you got me on that one for empathetically saying someone else could have merely forgotten a screenshot for a situation that they were involved in for talking i want to read this how did you get in here i stare at the girl gently picking her up the girl can't be any <laughs> can't be any physically older than 8 wow i simply say 
absentmindedly reached out to her chest. She doesn't stop you from groping. Ah! Ah! Ew! Ew! I don't want to read these. I don't want to read these. I refuse to read these any further. I don't get paid enough for this. I don't get paid enough to read this shit. I don't I don't get paid enough. Thinking about things that people hold me to from so many years ago, specifically mentioning that I called it diaper shit from 2014. Not only is this part unnecessary. What's up, KJ KJ War? What's up, man? Save your soul. Don't watch the Rosa call. I have watched the Rosa call, Brian. It's AIDS. Mary in a thread talking about the chat known as the Fruitcake Club since it had nothing to do with the particularly bad behavior within that chat. But it's also holding me to a particularly pedantic complaint about something that's still true. Mad Libs' complaint is with me calling this stuff diaper shit that I did in 2014 that people still hold me to, but specifically brings up a particular RP that I did when I roleplayed as a childlike character in 2015. Yeah, you're a gross little fuck! Guys, listen, it only happened 10 years ago. I roleplayed as a baby. I roleplayed as an 8-year-old with diaper fur. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you people? Like, <laughs> yeah... I, Doodle Toads just goes, totally, I was a part of that. Why is everyone holding it against me? <laughs> yeah, it's true. Of course it's true. You sick fuck. You sick bastard. Whoa. How do you have 16,000 subs? Don't watch the Rosa call. How do you have 16,000 subs, you sick fuck? I hate these people. I genuinely dislike everyone in the art commentary community. <laughs> you all need to go to fucking hell. That's so gross. Why would you say, yeah, that's true? As a way to call me dishonest. But I still did diaper-related fetishy shit in 2014 that people have taken issue with, so... Eh, you're really just doing Akumu's dirty work for him, and it's... <laughs> You're gross! It's not hard! You're, you're gross! You're a gross person! <laughs> I don't care if it was 20 years ago. It's still weird. You're a degenerate. <laughs> like, at least you own it. Why, why are you making a video about this? Shows. But in any case, I'm not here specifically to rag on Mad Libs. Or even Akumu. I'm certainly not happy with either, but that's not the purpose of this video. The purpose of this video is to compile the history of my involvement with weird fetishy stuff, specifically <laughs> talk and address the role plays that I did back then, explain how I got there, and why. <laughs> why are you doing this? Why? Why are you doing this? Why? What? <laughs> If it happened 10 years ago, who cares? Just, well, I care because personally, I think it's disgusting. But you, you don't have to acknowledge this shit. You can just move on and keep ignoring it. Oh, this person's gross. <laughs> Make kink shaming great again. So true. We need to start kink shaming more often, guys. We need to kink shame every day. We need to kink shame everybody who has diaper fetish. Kink shaming needs to come back in force. There are many kinks that need to be rooted out. Probably once again condemn younger me for getting involved in an environment that could have put me in danger and put that shit out there for the upteenth billionth time because addressing this shit genuinely never ends and no one ever hears me address it. And I have addressed all of this shit in the past. Too many times to count, frankly. We'll call back to at least one of those videos going through this again. So let's talk about my general journey into the world of fetish art. Before we do <laughs> Let's just talk casually about my journey into fetish art. I cannot imagine saying that and, like, meaning it, you know? Like, I'll r repeat what they said to laugh at it. But the concept that they fell down a pipeline 
into fetish art roleplay is maybe the funniest thing I've ever heard in my entire life. <laughs> Guys. It's really easy to fall down that pipeline, apparently. <laughs> Why does she gotta do this? I don't know. It's really funny, though. <laughs> though I want to make something clear as we go through this. I was born January 18th, 1997. I am 27 years Oh my god, we're the same age! What?! See, Leon, Leon will come in here and be like Chris terminally online. All this dumb shit he says. But the that then I look at this and I'm like, no, I'm normal. I'm totally normal. I'm like a hundred percent normal compared to these people. I'm a hundred percent normal. I ain't terminally online like this freak. My god! The alt-right, I'd rather people fall down the alt-right pipeline than this pipeline. <laughs> I'd rather people start listening to Alex Jones ranting about crazy shit than fall down the diaper fur fetish art, <laughs> the diaper fetish pipeline. Whoa! Diddle tones more like it. So true. As old as of this video, but if you're watching this in the future, you can do the math to figure out how old I am by the time of you watching this. This time, I'm not holding anything back. I'll talk about some things that I've never talked about before, some things that I had to get reminded of recently, some of it's uncomfortable, some of it's genuinely traumatic, but... Another I don't care if it's traumatic. I'm here to laugh at you. I don't give a fuck. You had, you did, and participated in diaper fetish roleplay. I don't care if you had the worst experience of your life. It's still funny to me, and I'm going to laugh at it. I don't care what you have to say. I'm going to laugh at it. Time has passed that I think addressing this will finally get people to understand a bit better. Not that I think it'll do anything to get people to drop the subject. Like, God knows most of these people are only throwing this at me as a way to get me to fuck off, but... I just think you're pathetic. I'm bringing this up because I think you are disgusting. And I think it's funny. That's, that's, that's all it is. There's not much more to it. I don't talk to Akubu. I talked to Beckett. Out of everybody who's handling the art commentary shit, it's just mostly Beckett. Like, <laughs> Wait, is it the person that criticized Medicare? Yes. Where Medicare found out about their diaper fetish roleplay. <laughs> Early a decade later, and I have a much better grasp and understanding of- microwave diapers like Pampachu? Oh, gross! Face, thoughtful face, thoughtful face, thoughtful face, thoughtful face, thoughtful face. Thoughtful face. Gross! Pampershoe does that? They microwave diapers? Ew! What I actually did wrong? If Pampershoe came out 10 years from now with the video, like, I would still laugh at him because it's funny and you're a weirdo for doing it. Exactly! That's exactly what I'm doing here. And so, we can talk about it. Also, it'll just be nice to have this video to throw out people. I think it would also be a good PSA. You a PSA? Me. Anyway... So, to start, let me paint a picture. I've been online most of my life. As little as six or seven years old, I was allowed on my mother's computer to play EverQuest, so... This is already bad. Already bad. That your parents failed you like this. Your parents failed you miserably. <laughs> they allowed you to be on the computer playing an or play EverQuest at six to seven years old. Dude. You should have went outside. Your parents should have been like, get the fuck outside. Don't sit on this goddamn computer. Get outside! I'm as terminally online as they come. Which has its own brand of issues with it, but we're not going to get into those right now. Let me guess, BPD autism. <laughs> Compulsive. <laughs> Hashimoto's disease. Is that is that all those things? Is that, is that what happens when you become terminally online? You develop BPD, autism, and Ho Hashimoto's disease? Is that how that works? Seriously, I, I just like genuine questions. If you're online that much, don't you, do you develop those three things? Because I feel like you do. I feel like you do. As I grew up, obviously I had a variety of places that I would frequent, people that I would talk to, and you know, just everything you'd expect a kid to realistically be doing on the World Wide Web. 
that's already a huge red flag. You shouldn't be doing that. Did your did your parents not tell you, hey, don't talk to strangers on the internet? I feel like your parents failed you miserably. <laughs> you have bad parents. Initially, it started. Funny doodle tones meme. What is this? Okay, that's not doodle tones. Simple. I would be mostly on kid sites like Sticker World, Armor Games, Cartoon Network. You know, kid spaces that you'd. What is EverQuest? Hold on. Definitive MMO RPG experience. So it's kind of like a knockoff of World of Warcraft, from what I'm seeing, just from a cursory look. Expect kids to be on. The worst in my early years I can remember that I did was created a YouTube channel when I was 12 and the music shake a year later. But generally, that's Creep as far as I can needs remember. To come back full mask off. <laughs> no, we don't need creep show back. We don't. We don't need keep. We don't need creep show back. I don't think. I don't think we need creep show art back. I feel like we're doing just fine without her. Generally, can't stand her mosquito voice. Sounding modulator, bro. It's nails on a chalkboard. Yeah, I know. I'm also in that group. Got him. I hate this shit. Wow, came after EQ. Okay, I'm sorry that I'm not that much of a fucking nerd. I'm not that much of a nerd. That I sat inside when I was between the ages of seven to nine to play MMO RPGs. Genuinely can't it's stand their mosquito sounding modulator bro it snails on a chalkboard. It is, it's fucking annoying. But I'm gonna laugh at this regardless. When I hit my teen years that things really started to go downhill, as that's when I joined DeviantArt and started Oh god, DeviantArt. <laughs> oh no. DeviantArt <laughs> That's how you know the pipeline got bad. First you play EverQuest, then you join a forum. Then from that forum, you join Deviant Art Fetish Diaper Roleplay. <laughs> what a what a pipeline! <laughs> what a pathetic pipeline! There. Apparently, I was really into the 4chan rules of the internet at the time because my first upload was a. I want to see this rule 63 for any given male character. There's a female character. I just decided to rule 63 myself. Also, this is me practicing anime. I usually can't draw anime. You can't draw in, dead or in general, you freak. What I had deemed a simple rule 63 of myself. Uh, truly. Fun fact, she said just a robot's voice makes her want to play dodgeball in traffic. Dude, her voice makes me want to, like, murder every mosquito in human history. Because now I just, I'm going to hear that. Every time a small mosquito flies by, it's going to go, meh. And I'm just going to hear doodle tones be like, diaper fetish role play. Like, it's... <laughs> I want to I want to kill every mosquito on the planet because of Doodle Toads. I showed no signs of being trans, no siree. Can I draw? Um, no. I am uh what they call artist autistic. Joking aside, I have no idea where I met the rules of the artist artist retarded. There, there's a better way of putting it. Artist retarded. The internet, or even the specific one in question, but I recalled that I had them saved on my school iPad at the time, so that's what got me to draw the first iteration of Persona, posted November 12th, 2011. So what I would have been 14 years of age if I'm doing my math right. By 2012, I would post a few things worth of note on DeviantArt. Apparently, by this point, I was using a social chatting service known as Chatango, a place where anyone could contact... Chatang... Chatango? She's saying thing. This person is saying shit that I'm like shocked by. <laughs> like I've never even heard of Chatango. This person is mentally ill. The Deviant Art Pipeline takes you sort of weird places. What is this like Telegram before Telegram got big? You if they wanted to just by scrolling through an extensive user list. Here, I know I was definitely sent my first dick pic, as that was something that spooked me so much that I wrote a song about it and the extra porn. What? <laughs> They got sent a dick pic. Wait a minute. I need to listen to that again. What? Wait a minute. They wanted to just by scrolling through an extensive user list. Here, I know I was definitely sent my first dick pic as that was something that spooked me so much that I wrote a song about it and- <laughs> Oh, okay. They were a minor. That person's disgusting who said the dick pic, but making a rap.
a rap about getting a dick pic. <laughs> Stop. Stop. It's not a real thing. You're not a real person. <laughs> I want to read this. I want to I want to read this. This rap is based on a true story, not to jive because it's some shit I get on Windows Live. I have been feeling this person. I have a feeling this per- I have a feeling this person is the exact same as the others because I can't imagine their mothers. <laughs> I'm so sick of hearing someone ask A S L. I'd rather tell them to drop it and then <laughs> and then go through hell. <laughs> I need a I need a beat. I need a copyright free beat. I can't rap from my fucking life. All right, hold on. We need this. We, we need this right now. Uh. I wonder if I could get away with this. I wonder if I could get away with this. Nah, it's, it's fucking terrible. It's a terrible beat. Terrible beat. Terrible beat. Terrible beat. Okay. I think I got it. I think I got it. <laughs> this rap is based. I can't rap. I can't rap. I gotta stop. No music. Fuck off. I'm not about to embarrass myself to try. Where was I? I'd rather tell them to drop it than go through that hell. Because when I tell them I won't answer that shit and end the bell, they say I'm 23. FFL. <laughs> So it's time that shit starts again. They're obviously faking hottie. Then they ask me, do you like to get naughty? <laughs> so I know what's going to happen. I know this isn't true. They then say, that's me in the picture. I want to give you a present on webcam, but I'm really wet right now and want to do this quick with you. Okay, I'm getting clipped out saying all this shit. I say no way. <laughs> then they'll send a link and tell me to click accept invite so we can play. Wow, this is bad. I know I know they're getting horny. I know they're jacking off. I know there's limit limitators to imitators to David Hasselhoff. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> They're just wanting me to grind. Then they cover it up with, this is how I pay my bills, ha, huh? in the behind. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, then they say, I don't fuck customers. But you're making me change my mind. And no matter what I say, no matter the chart, as they say, it's your bra- <laughs> as they say is breaking my you're breaking my heart. So if someone asks you to ASL, exit the conversation and ring the final bell. I hated that. I couldn't make it through that without laughing my fucking ass off. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> the extra porn bot accounts that would send me links to cam sites for music shake as questionable as these lyrics are the general events absolutely did happen it's funny it's pathetic it's pathetic and funny uh, i also had confirmed myself as getting a skype by this point where i would talk to some of my longest friends that i met through a live streaming minecraft place called you literally are saying all the worst shit deviant art minecraft skype Diaper fetish roleplay. You, <laughs> you are the quintessential pathetic online person that I love to laugh at. You're hitting all the right points here for me to laugh at you. Ghost in the stream. Now, mind you, Ghost in the stream itself used Chitango for its chatbot, so that doubly helps. In the doodle was not where she was. 
supposed to be idea. I had also confirmed that I was a user on a social game known as Imvu, which, if you know what that is... Oh my god, I am the you. Imvu? Mama Max? Predators? You don't care about child predation? I'm having flashbacks to the Mama Max situation now. I am VU. Predators. Going to jail. We put him in jail. We got him. You should care about the children. <laughs> I am VU is now a meme to me. Ba Blackula wrote that rap. So true. I need a water. This is fucking AIDS. This is AIDS, dude. Is this one of Camden's victims? Is Doodle Tones one of Camden's victims? Ooh, imagine. <laughs> Camden Gerard Davis, Blackula the Completionist. <laughs> imagine, dude. There's not really much of a reason to explain that. Someone problem. told you to boo me? Yeah, I couldn't rap. I can't rap. Leon, get in the call. I need, I, I, I need you to rap this song that this person wrote. I need you to rap that. Yeah, we got kicked out. Of, he, she got kicked out of the hood for that one. That was so bad. Definitely shouldn't be on there when you're less than 18. There was also a particularly interesting jump between two images being the first of two dare images that I would make and the ninth page of a comic that I was creating at the time where we had a character physically and mentally age regress to bypass weirdness in the setting. But what? I didn't rap. I literally just read it like a poem. I didn't rap. I tried to rap. I tried. I was too white. I'm too white. I'm not Eminem white. Only to create more weirdness in real life for me, though one could make the argument in favor of this just being unfortunate implications. However, the implications are still unfortunate. Yes, because you drew a comic of somebody age regressing to becoming a child. Like, what is wrong with you? Recall that by this point, though, I would have been 15, if my math is correct. Moving I don't care that you're 15, you're a weirdo at 15! On into age 16, I created the Transformation World comic, one where much of the irresponsible and gross- <laughs> <laughs> They made a comic about a guy wearing a diaper. I don't care that they were 50. This is pathetic. Those things started popping up. Specifically, ABBL themes, because gender swapping was, like, always a... You sound like Xander Hall describing rap? No, Xander Hall just said it was about guns, money, and drugs. Rap is about a culture. It's about the, it's, it's about the kind of things that the culture goes through. I'm probably going to yell that by Leon for that one. Just woke up, what the hell? Welcome to hell with me, chat. Welcome to hell. If you're just pouring in right now, welcome to hell. Thing that I was aware of that was in, like, most TV shows I'd watched as a kid, but these other themes had to come from somewhere, yeah? Oh, Chris said get the call. All right, I need Leon to wrap this. We're gonna get, Le we're gonna get Leon to deal with this. All right, where are we six minutes? What? All right, wait. Why isn't my mic working? What? Hold on. You just gotta sit in silence, bro. Is that that's what you're doing? Can you hear me? Yeah, now I can hear you. Okay, dude, all my settings fucking reverted back for some reason for my mic. I need you, I need you to wrap this. My name is Adolf Hitler, commander of the Third Reich. Based. I need you to wrap this. I am not reading this. What the fuck? What is this? <laughs> it's a rap about somebody getting a dick pic. Oh, no. Not yes, that. it's a rap. I choose, not. I choose not to. You want me to give you like a sick beat? <laughs> like, that's the whitest shit you've ever <laughs> said to me. You want to give me a sick beat? You want me to give you a sick beat? So you can weed, so you can weed a, a fucking rap it's... about getting a dick pic? I'm going to I'm gonna read this. I'm not rapping this. I read it it's already. Rapping. It was AIDS. <laughs> 
What the fuck? Read it. Where, <laughs> where do you find this shit? <laughs> Who, who told you about all this shit? Beck of the Crabs. It's his fault. What the fuck is a Beck of the Crabs? He's just a dude. Don't worry about it. What do you mean? I miss when you just talked about Tipster. You fucking ventured out into this fucking wild catacomb. I just do regular stuff. This is my day where I find weird shit and laugh at it. <laughs> I do one day did a week you, now. Did you know that the world is mad that a blind voice actor is voicing a blind character? I need you to read this. For what? I just what? Want, right. I, I just want to see your reaction to it as you go. <laughs> this is already bad because it starts with this rap is based on it. A... Wait a minute. First of all, why did you motherfuckers call me for this shit? Why would you motherfuckers like get Leon? See, they were mad. No, no, no. They were no, no, no. They were mad that I wouldn't like do a rap with a beat over it, and it, they were like, he this... was he was so bad at it. They need Leon. This is why all these motherfuckers called commentary racist. What? Nobody this did it because not... you're black. They wanted you to shit on me because oh, I couldn't no, rap it. No, 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 no. Oh my God! Stop. Racism alive and well with you people. Read Man. it. I I need you to read it. <laughs> He's gonna hate me because of this. I don't. I can't read it because it's blurred. What the fuck? All right, hold up, hold up. Let me fucking bad quality you got on this fucking it, it's their video and also the voice whoever made this shit the voice really ain't that fucking bad it's that bad what are you talking about you're talking about your fucking voice is bad my mic's not my mic is bad but it's not that bad you just hate apparently little girls from the uk they're 27 well, puberty, yeah shut puberty. yeah shut up it's 27 puberty, shut up. puberty clearly didn't hit rated it. diorio started my fort i can't see it it what, went away i'm looking at it i pulled it up i zoomed in a little no, bit i had to i had to fucking redo it do it leon or else you will not get my membership i don't even know what you mean by that this <laughs> rap is based on a this rap why did it start with this rap is based on a true story what the fuck <laughs> Not to jive. This is some shit I get on Windows Live. I have a feeling this person is the exact same as the others. Because I can't imagine. This is terrible. I know. You're supposed to add a little bit more words before you ended with mothers. Like, what the fuck? And I'm so sick of hearing someone ask ASL. I'd rather tell them to drop it than go through that hell. <laughs> Because when I tell them I won't answer that shit and end the bell, what's the bell? <laughs> they say I'm 23 FFL. Now listen, I didn't read maybe like seven lines. I already know whoever this is is white. And oh yeah, sent the big pig is white. Membership. Yeah, they're all white. <laughs> Just having Leon read this because he has no idea what's going on. So it's time that shit starts again. They're obviously faking hottie. What is faking hottie? I have no idea. Then they ask me, do you like to get naughty? <laughs> so I know what's going to happen and I know it isn't true. They didn't say that's me in the picture. I want to give you a that's terrible. It should have been. It, it's terrible. True and you a does not rhyme. No. I want to give you a present on webcam, but I really is spelled wrong wet right now and want to do this quick with you. I say no way. Then they'll send a link and tell me to click accept invite so we can play. I know they're getting horny. Oh my God. I feel like I'm being molested reading this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know they're getting horny. I know they're jacking off. I know they're imitators of David Hasselhoff. <laughs> that was the funniest line. That was the funniest line. <laughs> I'm sorry. I gotta stop. They were just wanting me to grind. Then they cover it up with, this is how I pay my pills. Pay my pills? Pay my bills. Ha. 
in the behind. Oh, then they say, and I don't fuck customers, but you're making me change my mind. And no matter what I say, no matter the chart, all they'll say is, you're breaking my heart. <laughs> so if someone asks you ASL, exit the conversation and ring the final bell. How do you feel about that? <laughs> trying to figure out do i want to like uh, gun to the back of your head which one you would listen to for 10 hours somebody reading that in that fucking uwu british light girl voice or tipster trying to explain to you all why this image isn't lolly i'd rather have tipster explain to me why this image isn't lolly i'd rather i'd rather sit there because with tipster it doesn't sound like mosquitoes on a chalkboard or some shit to me it's i would just... rather take the I'd rather the bullet. Yeah. I don't want to die. Is favorable. I don't want to die. <laughs> I'll choose tipster over this. <laughs> I can't believe they wrote that rap. That's fucking Leon, crazy. Leon age regressed. I don't have time to figure out your lame no, fucking words. Don't don't even don't even engage with that. Don't engage with uh, that. This is the fucking reason why people look at you people as nothing more than insignificant bugs and spurs. True. Jesus. Christ. But this is this is another level of insignificant spurgs and bugs. Like we're dealing with some retard shit. What the fuck is a TW five dot? What's what? a what? The shit I'm looking at on your YouTube. Oh, stream, they they, they drew it. The, the oh, stream. they they drew they drew a comic. So this whole video is them addressing that they did diaper fetish role play. And pretended to be an eight-year-old. And they're making a video addressing the allegations. And they drew a comic of a guy trying to get comfortable wearing diapers. And I'm here to laugh at this person. Chris, we got to go to SummerSlam, bro. SummerSlam? <laughs> we got to go to SummerSlam. It's in Cleveland. It's for my birthday, man. I'm, I'm, I'm going to Cleveland for my fucking birthday. <laughs> when is it? I got to go watch, I gotta go watch The Rock. When is Drop it? an elbow on somebody. It's in August. <laughs> in august i'll all right keep me in the loop because i could go to cleveland like that's not that big of a deal you could fuck it we we could watch the rock raise his eyebrow man yeah, we could watch the rock. You, you can finally meet a black person i you act like i i have never met a black person or are friends with black people your track record is terrible <laughs> king doesn't count no, I'm not putting. I'm not saying that you you guys are retarded, both of you. I mean, we are your only black friend on the internet. No, overall, buddy. Not overall. Overall, but not listen, I, not I, overall. I, yeah, overall. I don't talk about my other people in my life, bro. <laughs> like, so you say, bro? You're say. killing me. Can I let you? I want to finish this fucking video, and I know you don't want to sit through diaper fetish role play allegations. Well, you got me intrigued now, so fuck it. Let's go. All right. I guess Leon's joining us on the diaper fetish roleplay allegations. Fuck, after that <laughs> hot beat. After that hot beat. They made they made that when they were like 15. And how old are they now? 27. What a time to be alive. I know. ABBL themes, because gender swapping was like always a thing that I was aware of that was in like most TV shows I'd watched as a kid, but these other themes had to come from somewhere, yeah? There's no way I would have just known of this stuff, would I? Hold that thought, because I'm going somewhere with this. 2014, so age 17, still a minor, uh, a lot of things start falling into place. So not only do I start getting super into fetish content, that bro, I don't care if they're seventeen. It's just weird. You fall down the fucking pipeline of fetish role play shit. <laughs> is is this how every young teenager discovers porn for the first time? Am I really going to hold on? To, they go to deviant art to look at diaper fetish role play. Is that how it goes? Is that the normal? Hey man, is that the some norm? Some people, some people go through deviant art. Some people go through Pornhub. Some people see titties on the street for the first time. But some how many? How many? Hold on. So hold on. Okay. Some people have their female teacher bend over in front of them for the first time. There's a lot of ways you could go down this rabbit hole. But how many of them do diaper fetish role play as an eight year old? Hey man, don't say hey man. Don't say hey man. Don't say <laughs> hey man. <laughs> 
<laughs> eight year old threw me the fuck off. Yeah, don't you? Yeah, they're pretending to be eight years old. Diaper fetish role play. Do not. Don't try to play the fucking <laughs> devil advocate game on that one. I'm super supportive of others and even doing my first error message erotic role play that turned into what. What is error message erotic role play? <laughs> what is that? It's erotic role play. Hold Aromatically. On. Error, me error message erotic role play. I know I'm going to regret Googling that. Okay, no. Um. Erotic, erotic role play, erotic. It's just saying regular erotic role play. This has to be so terminally online, it doesn't come up in the regular Google search. We are eventually going to get into talking about creating fetish centric characters, which had gotten me in trouble when a character wasn't supposed to be sexual, but whose themes were questionable at best. Started popping up in other people's communities and just all in all getting into the Fucking update for Hell that was dropped. Yes! I already got the new season pass. Where the fuck do y'all get the season pass from? What do you mean? Oh, okay, so you know how, like, uh, you can go to the war bonds? If you go to the war bonds, it'll say purchase super credits, and it's 10 bucks, and you can get all the new armors and guns and shit, but you have to uh, get medals to get them. I know that. I was just like, how the fuck do I get it? Yeah, yeah, so you, like, go, you scroll, so, like, the one that's all the electric-based stuff, you can do that oh, one, or, the, or, or the, exp the explosive one gives you a grenade launcher pistol now. Stuff involved with. I even went back and started reviewing some of the content that I already had consumed to talk about that. Uh, right. There it is. So, in my review of them. Oh, no. Dottie just sent me some tipster tweets about bulb lags. I think we need to take a solid break from the diaper fetish roleplay and see what's happening here. Love how we're derailing the stream for him. No, it wasn't really a derail. It was really just Chris mentioned an update like two yeah. weeks ago, and I guess it yeah. finally dropped. Let's see here. I get that Bob Blacks doesn't like me, and that's fine. He can hate and attack me all he likes. But attacking a trans charity and labeling it sketchy and creepy, it kind of is, though. It's like a whole thing where they relocate trans people away from their parents. It is kind of fucking weird. At the height of the alt-right trans panic... That labels trans people as groomer. Wait, at the height? Is it at the height of the trans panic right now? This is the same guy who let us all know that it's great that the right wingers are. It's great <laughs> that a war is going on because the right wingers can focus on that. <laughs> and innocent children are dying, but LOL, the trans people are being left alone. Yeah, it's really funny. Yeah, I don't think that's at the height right now. I'm pretty sure the multiple wars going on are kind of more talked about. Let's see here. That labels trans people as groomers, pedos, undesirables, etc. It is not the move. At Rainbow Passage is a lot of good for the LGBTQ plus community and helps keep trans people currently living in dangerous living conditions safe. And you labeling them as creepy and misrepresenting what they do is quite frankly gross and only serves to fuel more hatred and bigotry towards trans people. Oh my god, he talks just like Keffels. <laughs> And your comment section is a pretty good indicator. Oh, my God. Are you serious? We're doing the whole your audience says these things, so you must believe these things or feel bad about what your audience is saying. You've got to be shitting me. He used to he used to argue the opposite of this. You're fucking no, Hitler. Commander of the Third Reich. Super I sketchy. Uh, in a real slumber party, they didn't even mention the details of the dilation situation. Someone needs to infiltrate the safe space. I'm wondering if it gets LGBTQ as a cult now. Okay, who cares? Tipster, this isn't Bo Blacks' fault. These things here. Did he call it creepy? Yeah, he thinks it's creepy. I think it's sketchy. I don't think it's because of trans people. I think the idea of flying out children from their homes, even if the homes aren't good, is still kind of fucking weird. It's still weird. Kevils probably wrote that. Yeah, Tipster responded. He just responded, Toastify. <laughs> Bublax has no... What? No way. Did Tipster retweet this? Bublax has no morals. Throwing at trans organizations that does nothing wrong under the bus because you don't like Tipster. Absolutely pathetic. Doing this at the height of the transphobic hate. All because of your personal beef. Yep, he did retweet it. Yep, he did retweet it. He did retweet it. 
And then whatever this person is. You should see his tweet about Dr. Disrespect talking about Call of Duty. Wait, what? He made a tweet about Dr. Disrespect? Mm Mm-hmm. Scroll down. It's not that far. It's right there. Last time I checked, weed humor didn't include any anti-LGBT rhetoric. Okay. Now, children, you would argue that weed should not be in the hands of children. Yes. One might one might make that clear distinction quite well. Mo- most children should not be doing drugs or alcohol. Mo- most, most, uh, most, all. Most, excuse me. Most, excuse most, me. All. Most, most, all. Oh, fuck you. Most. Are, hold on. There is some arguments that it does help, like CBD and stuff, for kids with high anxiety, but that's non THC based. Fuck it. Why not kids smoke crack? Yeah, kids should smoke crack. I'm saying it. Smell crack, kids. You'll do better in your life. You'll get $100,000 for free. Look at Caffles. The man of the third right. <laughs> I'll go just up you before work on the vid. Toastify is baking a uh, a banger video. If there isn't an ally, he doesn't have enough brain cells to think with common sense over these situations. True. The Very real, true. The, only, the only real trans ally on YouTube is, is me. me. No, no, it's me. No. Yes, me. Definitely, a I am. I am a hundred percent a trans ally. Definitely, I'm. Not I'm you. better than you at it. Not really. Not yeah. even biblically better. Well, no. hold on. Wait. This is how we're gonna know who's better at it. Do you call Chris Chan a she or a he? Chris Chan fucked his mother. I don't respect that. Boom. Okay, so we're both on the same page. We both call them he. If a grown adult wants to fucking operate on their body to make themselves feel better, who am I to stop them? Do what you want. That ain't my dick. Yeah. That ain't my pussy. True. We love all people. I'm I'm just ba- I'm just trying to outpace. I'm just trying to start a stupid argument. I genuinely don't care about any of this shit. You can't you can't outwoke me, Chris. Yeah, no, I, I I would never want to outwoke anyone. That's how I know that I've lost my mind is when I start trying to like outwoke people oh, oh, or something. That's when you've lost your mind. Oh, Not yeah. watching a video about diaper porn. Well, no, this person's responding to their diaper fur di- their diaper oh, look, fetish. You're watching a video about diaper porn. <laughs> I'm normal. I'm making fun of this person. You're watching a video and reading slam poetry. And you post and you s- and you send me pictures of like cocks and shit sometimes. When? What was the bro? I've seen your Twitter. So Twitter is not me. But you've sent anything. you've sent me the. Th- I'm gonna scroll in our DMs now. I gotta oh, you the mean the back. fucking pelvis destroyer? Not the pelvis destroyer. The pelvis destroyer was nothing but a BBL. Partner. You, you and Paige Christie, man. Paige put said like that video of that dick that like swipes on fucking TikTok, and I'm like, Paige, please stop. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was like, I was literally streaming, and it was on my stream, and I'm like, God damn it. We Paige talk, has my sense of humor. Me, me, and you just shit post to each other way too much. It's gonna take me a while. You mean to way find too it. much. I fucking asked both of you niggas when we playing hell divers, and neither <laughs> one of y'all responded. I'll be playing. But I can't do it today. I got my I got my roommate and good friend's birthday today. We're going out at like four. Who cares about that? It's dedication to the grind. Also, what are you yes. gonna buy the lockout tipster card, Leon? Never. Why? You should buy I don't want it. That, yeah. I don't want that my fucking payment history. What do you mean? You don't have to buy the card, just buy a pack and you get my card. And tipsters. How about you just give me this shit for free? How support a homie. Do you support me? I support no. you. I'm a member no, on your channel, great. bitch. No, you're not. Yeah, uh, well, I was, and then I had to cut everything Damn. off. Money got a little tight. I need to finish this. Confusing's gonna hate clipping this fucking part out because it's just so much derail. Harassment, one that I did for two friends who are not into that kind of content, by the way. I mentioned that this was the thing that got me invested in fetish. Okay, I need to read this. Here's another review of a sexual-ish thing. This time, it's manga for my friends Wade and Rena, who think I could use a read through. Wait, use a read through of this. Uh, see, we had a conversation on how much care. Wait, how they don't have much care for fetish art, and I know a lot of people share the same thoughts on this subject. But see, I'm not much into every fetish. However, I understand everyone has their own likes and dislikes, so I don't mind fetish art. However, again, I understand not everyone is as open-minded about this subject as I guess I am. 
that may be a bit egotistical, but really, let's be honest, most of you probably never bothered reading Caller 6 or playing Trap Quest. So tell me... <laughs> I don't even know what this person's talking about. <laughs> so tell me how open-minded you actually are. And if you have, congrats. You're pretty fucking open-minded. Anyway, onto the review. Mika Ni Harassment is the manga. That sounds... I, that sounds like a really fucked up anime. It doesn't even... No. Or manga, whatever. This is the manga I truly respect. Fetishy art. It's definitely a tad hard to read at first, but once I started, I couldn't stop. For those who aren't able to open their mind, <laughs> don't have any time to read manga. Here's a breakdown review of each book chapter. That is gross. It, it literally has harassment in the title. My brain immediately Speak. thinks some weird shit. Speaking of gross, I'm not. Look at what I, I, you I Yeah, I saw. I saw the shit post <laughs> getaway post today, and I was like, "What the fuck <laughs> is that?" Speaking <laughs> of speaking of shit post, Neon got arrested. Thank God. Him Good and, riddance. Yes, yeah, so him and Sam Frank you should just stay in fucking Dubai and get tortured. Yo, what you say, and first, oh, what all, the fuck on. is that? Oh my God. Oh, second it's of all, still on the screen. What's your beef? What's your beef with my dude Johnny Somali, man? Whoa! What do you mean? The guy's a fucking human wretch. As a base streamer, uh, I wrong with you? <laughs> dude, I don't know how you're a base streamer when you have the whole country of Japan hating you, and the whole country of Japan is doxing your location every day. Fuck it. Tell him, man. Tell him who won the war. <laughs> when them. I don't remember the exact how I found this, but I know it had something to do with the Chitango chat that I, at the time, frequented because it was connected to a website where you could just watch anime. A uh, thing like Kiss Anime, but it has a chat box with randos feeding you anime and manga recommendations. It was brought up amongst a chat there, and I read it, and then followed that up with several other This is literally a flamenco moment. <laughs> remember Kiss Anime, kids? What the hell is Kiss Anime? It's just when motherfuckers watch anime bootleg. But that's it? Yes. It's just what a horrible name for it. Etchy pieces of media that Mongo got. Reminder tipster is a favor of puberty blockers for minors. Yeah, I, I heard that. Sites would list alongside it. To clarify, it was this piece of media being talked about with a curious <sighs> minor in the room. And it was this and other related media that made me so desensitized to sexual topics. What the but wait. Uh, that manga websites would list alongside it. In a response to, to all clarify, the Boblack shit, somebody decided to say he's a twink, that's why. <laughs> what but they're calling Boblacks a twink? Mm hmm Are you are they you sexually they're sexually harassing Boblacks right now? You can take a strong guess who of Tipster's well known supporters would tweet some dumb shit like that. One of his mods? Maybe. Uh, what's their name? Saggy Mel. <laughs> I thought they. I thought they weren't friends anymore. No, I think they made up. But it was funny as fuck when the motherfucker got yeeted. That was funny. They fucking had a spur. They had a spur. They asked basic street. ass questions. And they crawled back the tipster. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Incredible. It was this piece of media being talked about with a curious minor in the room, and it was this and other related media that made me so desensitized to sexual topics. This was what garnered me my initial intrigue. This is precisely why it's important, actually, to- So you're saying that- th I'm not pulling it up on screen. That manga, which I refuse to show, like, full, full on camera, is what got you curious into fetish roleplay. That is disgusting. Man. When I was a, when I was a teenager, I saw a fucking anime of a big ass fucking monkey commanded a bunch of naked giants to kill one tiny human, and that got me interested in anime. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, but their cocks weren't swinging, and it wasn't about sexual harassment. It wasn't. It was about fucking grown ass mutant giant humans eating the population. This is gross. Not have kids be around. Sally Bell is a very broad considering the people tipster like surrounded himself with. Can you narrow it down? <laughs> That's a good joke. NSFW topics and themes, as it's shit like this That's that sad. endangers them to. That's a good joke. That's a solid joke. That's sad. That's solid. That's, That's, sad. Sad. That's solid. That's so sad. <laughs> hey. 
intentionally. It's easy. solid. It's solid. These would be the, these would be the people running around saying, "Let's be normal, everybody. How can we all just be civilized and all this shit?" You call him a motherfucker a twink, and you think you're going to be treated as such? Yeah, no, it, it doesn't end well. Get groomed or put into other sexually explicit situations. And I know this now, obviously, but look at where I was leading up to turning 18. I was, knowingly or not, putting myself in danger hanging around these communities. And it's, again, not just- Your parents fucking failed you. Like, miserably. You have horrible parents. Just the ABDL communities, either. I had role play Leon, Leon, are you deleting someone's chat? Yeah, I'll put them in timeout. <laughs> I was about to s stop putting them in timeout. Are in you saying that like I routinely put people in timeout? Bro. You abuse your mod powers once in a no, while. No, I don't. They said something blasphemous. <laughs> because Attack on Titan is mid. That was That's the... Yeah, <laughs> blasphemous. Bimbo, humiliation, Futanari, S and M, like that. Whoa! Did they just say that they're into Futanari? Humiliation roleplay, macro, bim. Now, for the people who are. Futanari, yep. Now, for the for the people who are unaware, what that is. Imagine a transgender with a penis. Yep, like literally, just imagine that. S and M, like I had a whole RP with basically everything under the sun in it. It's frankly no wonder I watched Bondage Game. But again, I was 17 at the time of all of these examples. I was a minor. Which... They wait. Did they say that they're into inflation porn? This person's disgusting. Is this Pyrocynical's best friend? Still. <laughs> That's gonna get me in trouble. Isn't good, mind you. I'm not saying it was, but I am trying to put all of this into perspective. This was more or less my upbringing in my teen years. I was always online. I was online homeschooled. I was struggling in classes, stressed out, and then being decent. Why are you putting this on my screen still? I was in a bad place. It's not what I'm saying, but you don't want to hear it anyway. So, let's move on then. With all of this laid out, moving into 2015. January 18th rolls around and I become legally an adult. I hit 18. Mind you, I'm still doing role plays by this point, and while I don't exactly realize what day I dropped out of high school, I was still definitely- I love that they just roll past so they're like, yeah, I did role plays online. Bro, you did diaper role play fetish, Futanari fucking fetish. You're gross. You're a horrible person. You're an actual disgusting human being. Chris, are you king shaming? Yes! Absolutely! We need to kink shame gone. more. We as a society have fallen. No, we we as a society fell when we allowed furries to be in the regular conversation. Who is this freak? We have really lost stressing. it as a society. We we've lost that we can't that this person when they got made fun of one time, they were like, "You're kink shaming! How dare you! You're kink shaming!" Yeah, you you enjoy diaper fetish role play. How am I not allowed to kink shame that? Chris, how could you? These people are gross. The fuck out about it all. So these role plays were definitely my go-to. Imagine, imagine you're stressed out in life, and you're like, you know what? I just need to relax. Goes onto a web forum and does diaper fetish role play to relax. <laughs> these people aren't real. <laughs> these people aren't human beings. On March 21st, 2015, I released the infamous Game Girl RP. Those who have watched Doodle is Cringe may recall me already addressing this one directly and condemning the action itself. See, to give a bit of context, I was doing online homeschool from 2012 to 2015, and it was just- You're- my god, online homeschooling. <laughs> so not only were you a complete loser that couldn't make it in school, you were also a loser that hung out on DeviantArt and web forums for- fetish roleplay, read weird manga, like, you you, you are the quintessential terminally online person. When Leon ever comes to me and says, Chris, terminally online, I'm gonna keep sending him this video. And say, am I, though? Downright you are. Doc, this person is literally, like, the archetype of it. Birds of a feather. Uh, how is this birds of a feather? I don't troll. You're weird. I don't hang out on fucking DVR and do diaper fetish roleplay. I don't know what you do. I I you would. That, that shit's gross. Why in the hell would I ever <laughs> do that? I would never. 
Yeah, it's fucking gross that you would even imply it. This is just like, oh, I would never. I would never. I would never. Buddy got so personally offended by that. I one. was offended. Well. You will link problems that cause class gatherings to overlap. And so I'd be marked as absent. My internet connection didn't help matters either, as having a stable connection to do and or turn in the classwork wasn't always there. And well, yeah, I won't lie and say there wasn't some aspects that distracted me. I was connected to the internet. Not helped by the fact that I had no outside connections and felt isolated for three years of my life. And boy am I glad I'm not in academics currently, because I would not want to go back. Things haven't exactly been better, but I'll take what I got now over what I went through in that time frame. Anyway, the point is that I needed a mental break, shown by the plethora of vent art that I made at the time. And this is where we get into roleplaying, specifically transformation and fetish roleplays. <laughs> Tuber typer. Fuck is wait a minute, transformation? <laughs> the transgenders have struck again. Roleplaying, specifically First transform RP error. You're on your computer as you are, and this very error, error message pops up on your screen. You can only choose it by clicking one of the following A R T G other random F T. I have no T F. I have no idea what that means. Transformation and fetish role plays. I won't go too in detail about each RP I did because I don't feel as if there's a lot to talk about, to be honest, which, given how people often talked about it, you'd figure there would be, but there's really not. Most didn't really go anywhere. Do you have anything interesting digging through them? However, there was one that I would be amiss to talk about, <clears throat> the Game Girl RP. Technically, this is out of order since it was 2015, but... Whoa, did you read that? I just read that very briefly. You're playing game, the Game Girl. You're playing a video game, and suddenly, a little girl pops out of it. Oh my god. <laughs> this is flamenco-level fucking shit. Game Girl RP. Technically, this is out of order since it was 2015. Oh, we have a tipster meme on deck. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Why do you oh my god. <laughs> That's just fucking mean. Fifteen, but since we're talking about them now and this one did spark up a little bit of controversy in twenty eighteen that got some very not so nice allegations lobbed at me, I feel like I should talk about it now. Mainly because of the not thought out descriptor of the character not being physically older than eight years old, and then having one of the people I was roleplaying with have a character that was supposed to be moldable grow breast only to grope them. What? what? Hold on. I would have Leon read these. <laughs> hey, Leon, can you read this real quick? Of course, I gotta read the weird shit. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not reading that. <laughs> That's why you silently read before you read aloud, class. Exactly. I'm not reading that. <laughs> I'm not reading that. Read it first. Is this your girlfriend, Chris? I, read, no. I, I was gonna read. I was gonna read the first one. Then I, I looked down. Nope. No. Not no. Not happening, buddy. No. Character not, not taking place. Older than eight years old, and then having one of the. What is this? Oh God, this is horrible. Easy, she says, turning into something you see commonly online. Wow, I simply say absentmindedly reaching out to her chat. She doesn't stop you from cropping her. I move, I move closer, slowly squeezing her breast. She blushes. I People I was role playing with have a character that was supposed to be moldable, grow breast only to grope them. It's a little creepy, sure. I don't really. <laughs> it's a little creepy. Leon, would you categorize diaper fetish role playing as an eight year old a little, a li just a little creepy? A little? No. They, they, a lot? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. They're saying it's a little creepy. They're like, I can see why it's a little creepy. <laughs> uh, really have an excuse for how creepy it sounds, and I'm not gonna. And this person's gonna help Leo Convoy like beat the allegations. Is that really what's Leo. happening? You know, we just got to start shaming motherfuckers a little bit more. Thank you. That's, you I'm say thank that. you. You one of them that need to. What? 
I don't need to get shamed like this person does. No, you need to start shaming more motherfuckers instead of being like, well, I understand this. Well, I understand Dude, that. all I mean, I'm energy, doing is shaming all shit. Energy, all, all that energy you be having for motherfuckers like Tipster and Diaper Baby over here. Diaper that baby. fucking energy more. <laughs> on the basis of it being creepy or otherwise uncomfortable. I was a stupid 18 year old by this point who didn't know how to tell people that I was uncomfortable. Though the purpose of the RP wasn't to be- All you have to do is just not write back. Whoa! <laughs> Stop lying, that's your shorty. Fuck you. Sexual, that's just where the role- Thank you for the 199. <laughs> ...took it and I allowed it. And obviously, five years after this roleplay, and I haven't done anything similar since, even when I was still doing the fetishy roleplays in 2016, age 19, I think it's safe to say that I've learned from this. It was just one of those of-the-time things that I grew from. In any case, yeah. Just of-the-times. You know, back then, it was really easy to fall into the pipeline that was diaper fetish roleplay as an eight-year-old. You know, anyone can fall into that pipeline. What? <laughs> <laughs> That line of logic is fucking stupid. It's if that's just straight cope. It's creepy, but I learned from where my boundaries were doing these, and they were a good source of escapism during a time where I really needed it. So I don't particularly feel as if I regret having done the RPs, no matter how many people believe that I probably should. It's just one of those things that I can look back at and cringe, knowing that I grew from. The one thing that I would like to make an addendum for is my lack of regret when last talking about this because I was made aware of some less than savory things we'll get to here in a sec. But for now, let me focus a little bit more on this roleplay. The misconception about this roleplay- Stop talking about the roleplay, please! Roleplay being that it was supposed to be inherently sexual is one that I never properly really explained. See, the character was supposed to be a female companion of some kind, yes, but it didn't have to be a sexual one. And I can confirm this by the other two threads that people very commonly overlook. Because Kirby1250 was not the only person to take up this roleplay. In Nick's story, the two played Mario Kart. In Dragon of Times, she was setting up to be like a babysitter or a maid. And I love that this is like, yeah, you guys overlook the fact that these role plays happened with other people that weren't sexual. It's still weird. It's still weird. It's still disgusting. Like, what's wrong with you? In both those stories, she was described as slightly older, looking like a 10-year-old instead of an 8-year-old, which would still be weird if either of those stories went the same way Kirby's did, but all in all, it was not built to be sexual. It was just this one person who took it that direction. And while I'm actually not going to defend the descriptor or the allowing of it to get that far, that's still on me for not drawing that boundary. I will say that with everything leading up to that point, when you put everything into its proper context and not just keeping it in a vacuum at face value, much like these people tend to do, it becomes less doodle is a degenerate or worse a predator and hey leon after that uh af a after they provided that oh he muted he didn't hear that part <laughs> uh this actually still makes me think that you're a degenerate freak like you've changed nothing you haven't changed a damn thing doodle toes i still i still think you're a degenerate you know, like, with this proper context, that the other ones were in sexual in nature, like, you're still a freak! Motherfucker said, wait, Chris, let her cook. <laughs> or Doodle actually didn't know any better. Because I didn't. I didn't have anyone tell me that I shouldn't be there, and I had grown up in an environment where this kind of behavior was encouraged. I should- Someone in chat, it's Seven's fault she has a diaper fetish have done it. I agree there. That is my fault. I was 18. I was legally an adult. I should have tried to be more responsible in my actions. But I did not realize I was doing anything wrong. Because going even further than that, you might also have- Someone in chat, wait, Chris, let her diapers cook. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. A very real argument of Doodle was groomed into it. And for like a decade, I didn't even realize that I might have been until going through my old Skype logs earlier. Today. Oh my god. Yeah, I... 
Yeah, I did weird fetish roleplay, but I got groomed. It's their fault. <laughs> I don't care. I'm just going to say, I don't care. Your actions are your own, you fucking weirdo. That's like, an example is like when Spencer during the Mama Max stuff was like, well, Camden Gerard Davis uh, groomed me into being the, Gle the Ghislaine Maxwell for his pedo ring. <laughs> like, I don't, <laughs> I, I don't feel sympathy for you. I don't. You're still a degenerate. This month. I don't know where this person is at now, so I suppose this is just for peace of mind at this point and to help contextualize things a bit better, but... The same year that I got super into erotic roleplay, I met this person called White Clouds 1988 also known as Alex. We used to chat a lot with each other, and when I say chat a lot, I mean we chatted a lot. Wait, does it have like a list? Message is a total 6,000, Jesus. We met November 22nd, 2014, so remember I was still 17 at this time. Alex here was, according to their profile, 26 at the time, so a year younger than I am now as of this video. They knew I was as young as I was at the time, too. In fact, they said that I was cooler than they were at that age. It was one of the first conversations... <laughs> <laughs> you know, he did say I was cool at one point. <laughs> if bowing down to the woke mob means defending the rights of people who people like you wish to strip away, then yes, I'd probably align, my, align myself Wait, with the woke mob, as you call it. What are you reading? <laughs> that was a tipster tweet. From like two minutes ago. You're shitting me. Check Discord. No way. Hold on. I'm pulling up his actual fucking account right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I hate how fucking weird all these statements are. Though. This shit's too funny. <laughs> this, these statements are so fucking weird. <laughs> this, this shit's too funny. I'm <laughs> He's been subjugated. <laughs> we had. That same day, I was also allowed to trauma dump on them about my rampant suicidal ideation, and they were allowed to just casually talk about the time that they tried anal while talking with me about asexuality. We then got onto the topic of diverse, as that was the circle that we met each other in, after all. And at the time... I felt like I wanted to need them. <laughs> I literally don't feel sympathy towards you. I really don't. Like, I actually don't feel bad for you. Because <laughs> you're a degenerate who likes diaper fetish roleplay, uh, girl cock porn. Uh, you what? just couldn't say Futanari. Yeah, I couldn't say Futanari. I couldn't say. <laughs> you like reading weird manga with, like, childlike character. Like, I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I think I'm the only person that's going to say, I don't give an actual fuck that you got groomed. <laughs> Could not tell you why all these years later, but it probably... The rest of the art commentary community is too afraid to say it. I'll say it. I don't give a fuck that you got groomed. It's... You're still disgusting. Probably had something to do with... Well... Another tipster meme? Okay. One more tipster meme. All right, they're getting lamer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everything else that I have brought up prior, but it's like weird, right? Because even in the conversation we had, even at the time, I didn't really see myself as an adult baby or a diaper lover. I was interested in the fetish. Yeah, there's no denying that. <laughs> 17 minutes to get to the part that it's like, yeah, I, 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 I'm into diaper fetish. I won't deny that. <laughs> 17 minutes just to go, yeah, I'm totally into that shit. But also trying to, trying to uh, add on the added caveat that I was groomed to liking it. <laughs> like, shut the fuck up. 
But I was interested in a lot of fetishes by that point. She was groomed after she was into this sick shit? Oh my god, that's even funnier. I played games like Trap Quest. I'd read all of Caller 6's works at the time. Even in the conversation we had, I was obviously already aware of hypnosis. I was just kind of deep in the rabbit hole, generally. Like, if it was a sex-related thing, I was probably fascinated by it to some degree. So, I didn't really see myself directly as ABDL, and I still don't, despite how many people want to say that I am. I was just kind of told that I was by this person on the internet I met literally a day ago by the conversation. You're mentally ill. <laughs> you, 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 there's something broken inside you. <clears throat> There's something broken. Your parents didn't love you. Your parents never took good care of you. You know, <clears throat> the internet destroyed you, person. This, this disgusting human being, whatever you want to call yourself. <laughs> and at the same time, they had dropped on to me that they wanted to be that caretaker for me, which should have been a red flag, especially after they said they'd be willing to do so in real life. And obviously, little or me knew something was up, but, you know, I am colorblind, so I guess I didn't notice enough. Jokes aside, this is horribly uncomfortable to go through. So after these conversations, talking about how already deep in the sauce I was, that's what sparked a lot of our relationship. We would roleplay with each other in various chat rooms, specifically relating to themes of gender bending and ADDL. Those not- <laughs> What is ADDL? Please, what is that? What is ADDL? Someone explain that to me. See, th this is how non-terminally online I am that I don't know what the fuck that is. Or maybe I'm just old. I, I, I don't know what the fuck that is. Like, I, I don't know. It's just diaper fetish? Is that what it... Is that what it... <laughs> is that what it is? I mean, the only things, mind you, but those were the common things. Adult baby diaper fetish. Okay, all right. Where do you? Ha How does your life have to go? Very wrong. Where does it have to go for you to be like making a video about this? <laughs> life got to go very wrong. It's got to go poorly. <laughs> as much as you love to try and act innocent in the situation, but you did this before you were groomed. Now you're constantly bringing it back up like tipster. <laughs> I want to read the comments. I'm kind of curious. God, I can't express how much I feel for you, Susie. It was a sickening feeling in your gut when you realized you were groomed. The Skype DMs this person are scarily similar to the DMs I remember getting from the other people who groomed me. <laughs> They're going to hate this live stream. I'm sure you can guess which one that is. I hope you'll be okay soon. We are here for you. <laughs> the minute I'm glad I said I don't care that you were groomed. That you were groomed. I'm happy. I still stand by it. I'm just not going through each of You're welcome. I accidentally deleted my old comment she replied on. That's did. great. There were four long form ones and then a bunch of smaller ones. This was a very common thing between us. This person saw themselves as my virtual mommy, in a sense. And given the age gap between us, that's obviously a bit creepy, yeah? Can we agree on that? Are we going to sit here and say that it is my fault as the minor in the relationship? Because I'm still frankly processing a lot of this and I'm not entirely sure what to do with it myself. There is also a lot of very personal details in these messages too, so I'm not going to go over everything in this video, but it was both stuff that <laughs> seemed so- Bro, I got caught in 4K. <laughs> Leon, I gotta show you something. I got caught in 4K. I was saying Rihanna could still get it because of her Super Bowl performance. Tipster tried getting me into the Coomer Nation. And I responded with no. <laughs> Fuck, he did it to Bo Blacks too. He's like, he tried, to, he tried to convince us we were in the Coomer Nation. 
<laughs> this is great. Ah, uh, I'm I'm happy that they found that. I, I you know what? <laughs> I still stand by that. I don't want to join the Goober Nation. So small and All of you motherfuckers but... are above the age of fifteen, and this is how you speak. Who? You. That's what he said. Tip, tipster and <laughs> what? Do y'all ever look yourselves in the mirror and just be like, <laughs> what? Yeah. Listen, Rihanna is still hot though, so like that's true. But it's like, but that, but that's true though. That's like a factual niggas, statement. Do you niggas ever look at yourself? I don't say I don't say the half of the shit that Tipster says. But do y'all ever look at yourself and just be like, Jesus? Yeah, every day. You do it too, so don't pretend that you don't. No, I don't do it every day. You know why? Yeah, just you because do. I looked at myself months ago and was like, Jesus Christ. Why do you think I went on vacation? It's because I was turning into you people. I feel great about myself. Mm -hmm. You motherfucker, you were sitting here watching a 23 minute, 11 second video yeah. of a 27 year old describe themselves as the victim being a fan of eight year old diaper futanari cock porn. Yeah, that shit's funny. How is that not funny? How is that not pathetic? Like, that's why I find it I'm funny. Disturbed. I am disturbed. You're disturbed that I find making fun of these kinds of people hilarious? I'm just, you're not making fun of them enough. <laughs> what, what should I say? That they need to be fucking thrown in a camp somewhere with the door locked? Yes! That, uh, fair. I'll say that. Gas them. <laughs> they don't, they should not be allowed to have a YouTube channel if they're it's okay and the fact that they're like oh all the comments are like oh i feel so bad that you were groomed i don't care i genuinely don't give a shit that you got groomed i think you're disgusting regardless of the grooming or not i enjoyed physical contact but became like a generally identifiable information to me as a person giving this adult more of an idea of who i was as a kid a full profile of me more or less we would also talk about what turns us on, how much I weighed and measured, what we saw in friends, who my other friends even were. This person was obviously trying to get to know me exceptionally well, and using these RPs to arrive to that point. And I'll admit fully, I too got very persistent in these RPs. It was like every day or so for me that I wanted to do one. It was the escape that I wanted, the escape I felt I needed. It was definitely- I love that this person's like, this video's gonna vindicate me and everyone will stop making fun of me for this or using it against me. You've just made this worse. <laughs> You've made this worse on like every level. You are a degenerate, freak, diaper fetish loving asshole that is one of the more disturbing people I have come across on the internet. <laughs> and then trying to be like, well, I was groomed. Feel bad for me. Fuck you. I don't give a shit that you were groomed. You probably deserved it. You're probably asking for it. Not the escape that I should have had, though. And if you're still not convinced that what I went through was an instance of grooming, then I'm not sure what else to tell you. New donation Other than from that Venomous Socks. Oh, thank you for the direct dono. Thank you so much. I read those immediately. Let's pull that up. Venomous Socks. Let me see Chef. Okay, Chef, come here. No? You're gonna run? Come here, Papa. Come here. Come here. Come here. There you go. Wah. There you are. Almost worked. The more we talked, the more open I was. Until we got to the point I was so okay with being their little kitten. At least until I became their little bunny instead. <laughs> No more Discord kitten. Discord bunnies only now. <laughs> what the fuck? This is years before Discord and shit. That's like that's like funny funny. I started feeling sick going through these DMs, if you can't tell. It's to me like looking at an entirely different person. And they were even there during my 18th birthday. Still calling themselves my mommy and I calling myself their little bunny girl. Their 
<laughs> their little bunny girl. I know they're trying to like make people feel guilty about their grooming, but I just find it even funnier that they that they're bringing up their bunny and kid and fucking roll. That shit's too funny. Ditsy little bunny girl. This is what you wanted, right? For me to get vulnerable. And... No, I wanted you to be pathetic, and you have, like, given me everything I wanted in more. <laughs> Disgusted at myself. Would you like to know that I made an OC based on our interactions? <laughs> a little bunny girl myself that some... some people took issue with in 2018 because of the questionable <laughs> themes. And that was literally how I was groomed to envision myself. So no fucking duh that I didn't understand some things pretty early on. Wait. What do you think about Shadman's lolly art? All and, right. And all of his art in general. Just like the last porn, last porn artist you showed me, eh, it's drawn well. Why should I care about what it's about? Oh no, Shadman was brought up and they were totally cool with it. Oh no! The Shadman. The Shadman came back. Like, like, what do you even do to a kid like this? It wasn't just the interactions between the two of us either. I was once added to a group that contained other people that were treated in a very similar way to I. I met this person named Erica, Alex's kitty or big sister depending on the mood i suppose these people... <laughs> all these people to be locked in a cage a cage that's dropped like into the atlantic ocean with like fish guts surrounding them and the cage fish. and the cage is not made very well they can't get out of it but great white sharks can like break into it and eat them alive Th this is the kind of people that need to be thrown into the atlantic ocean I don't know much about their interactions or the age gap between them, but with me being the minor in the room and being told that I should be a kitty like Erica, I just... I don't know, man. Alex and I stopped being in contact by October 20th, 2015, which very much overlaps with the gross as fuck game girl RP. So, in a roundabout way of saying it, Yes, I did do the Game Girl RP, I'm not denying that, and I will correct the misinformation behind it and say that I was 18 doing so. It is weird, it is creepy, and I should have stopped doing it when I still could. There's a reason I don't partake in that kind of content anymore, and that is because I know better now. However, I didn't at the time, and for eight years people have been weaponizing- Yeah, wait a minute, she was 17 when she was groomed. I fucking hate grooming. I hate grooming conversations. This against me. For eight years, I have had to deal with people dragging this back up to be public again and again. Yeah, because it's gross and pathetic and funny to laugh at you. You should forever remember the day that you did diaper fetish art. It should never leave your side. It should be an albatross around your neck for the rest of your life. Because you're a freak! A freak. A degenerate. <laughs> That's what you are. Own it. <laughs> I hate people like you. <laughs> for eight. I don't care, bro. Like, like, I don't feel bad for this person. They're just, they're just, just a degenerate. <laughs> so mean. <laughs> you were the one saying to go harder, which it's true. This is how I feel. It's like gross. These people are gross. Oh no. Oh no, Tipster retweeted something. <laughs> I've given up on trying to keep up with the retweets of Tipster. Nah bro, this one's this one's classic. This this one this one's crazy. <laughs> Dear. Let me show you. As someone who has attended oh, I saw this already. Oh you saw that? I was like <laughs> it's just... I thought it was something new. No, this I just saw this one. 
We're all adults encouraged to get comfy in PJs and vibe. This accusation is just bigotry. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh god. Blocked, buddy. I, I've been blocked. Main account's been blocked forever. He has no idea about the alt account. It's crazy how the Twitch did allow motherfuckers to like block you from seeing they stream. That's some sick shit. I'm still in shock that that even happened. I'm still shocked I got caught. I'm better at hiding than this. Well, no, they you were in my live stream with me, so they just looked your name up and probably banned you. So technically, it's my fault. <laughs> no fun. No fun. They won't let us do a fun restream of Tipster. That mod was funny. Tipster's mod was funny. I'll admit it. He tweeted again. Oh, God. What do you mean he tweeted again, Nani? Okay, no, uh, he did. Uh, I'm not involved. I retweeted one of their tweets, hence why this is attacking the org is happening. No, you follow the account and engage with the account. It's a little bit different than that. She was freshly 18 when she was groomed. <laughs> oh, God. All right, Nani, I'm still blocked. So, wait, what is this? Animal guy animal guy in the picture is a longtime aids advocate <laughs> aids lived with aids <laughs> okay now i'm just being a dick Whoa, the group who doesn't group miners doesn't group miners. How do you know that, Smaggle? This reads like when Kate, well, Rainbow Passages and tips her ass. Okay, that's okay. <laughs> okay, you, you get what you give. Josh will get his comeuppance. <laughs> Wait, did somebody say that? Mm hmm. Where? Where? It wasn't Tipster, it was not Tipster. Check this <laughs> You get what you give, Josh. <laughs> These people are mentally ill, dude. <laughs> All of them. <laughs> Every single one of them are just mentally ill. Oh my god. That's too funny. I'm going to say this as a professional courtesy, one activist to another, and this will be my last time I ever speak to you. It's genuinely, it's generally unprofessional to speak on the behalf of an organization from your personal account. It opens the org up to liability since it invites people to view your personal account as an extension of the organization, and it's especially bad in the case of your account shouldn't exist. Additionally, it also usually is a bad idea for an org to give attention to content creators peddling conspiratorial nonsense by responding to your giving him more content to make money off of. If it, start, if it starts to impact the operations of the org, then it may be worthwhile to put out a statement without giving anyone in particular attention. But until that point, you're just fanning the flames. Lastly, why is Tipster involved? <laughs> Who said that? Who said that? That was cute. That was perfect. Who said that? Motherfucker gave a drastically good response Who of what these that? people should do. It just ended it with, lastly, why is Tipster here? <laughs> what the f Who wrote that? I need to retweet it. Please. Check Twitter. Twitter Discord. Oh, God. I This person. This person's great. <laughs> why, is, why, why is Tipster? I'm not involved. I retweeted one of their tweets, hence why this attack on the org is happening. They are literally attacking a charity because I retweeted a link to donate to them. It's gross. Why is Tipster involved is the sentence of the year. Nasty <laughs> fucking <laughs> work. <laughs> that shit vile. Oh my god. What is this? Your org. He's a drama streamer. Anything. 
and everything he touches is fodder for people like this as an org, in particular trans org. You have a responsibility to recognize when people are a liability who will actively obstruct your org's goals, affiliating with drama. Streamers is a prime example of that. This is another reason why in particular <laughs> should keep your personal Twitter account far away from this org. <laughs> Slightly cut off ties with drama streamer. Goodbye, Tori. I wish you and your best endeavors off Twitter. <laughs> God damn. Get into PJs on Discord. This is great. My favorite AIDS patient. So true. Dark Viper is an AIDS patient. That's not slander. I just think you all hate base streamers like Dark Viper. Okay, bro. <laughs> okay. So what he's DMCing clips of him yelling. Well, that's just one aspect to it. I just think it's really funny to laugh at him for doing that. That's the difference. And I even said it in the video I put up. And the comments are just like, yo, he's legally within his right. I was like, I didn't say that. I just said it's pathetic. <laughs> These people are funny. Good luck with your little commentary channel. What a weird hype train to tie yourself to. <laughs> Dark Viper is actually correct on copyright. Legal Eagle made one at XQC, and the grounds are the same. Copium, unself-aware strength, fueled smear campaign by 30k sub drama fiend channels who love to poopy talk on more successful channels under the guise of commentary. Good what luck. What the fuck with are that. you reading? I'm reading my comment section on the Dark Viper video. Here, I'll show you. I'm not kidding. I literally just read that. Leon's playing devil's advocate again. Nah, he's Leon's just po Leon's just f fucking around. But like, look, this is a real fucking comment that someone left me. This is too funny. I Got don't get it, man. <laughs> well, he didn't fall strike. That's the problem with these two big commentary channels. No content of their own. Just leave off others. This channel included. And if the Among Us, it, why are you covering it? Because it's funny to laugh at, retard. Viper has now put a filter on his YouTube comment section for people that can't talk about the drabs, by the way. What's the name of Link's Leon, did you, like? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Leon, did you see I got my first video out since you had a fit over not seeing that I went live the other day? Who's Is that your that? shitty campaign to get me to watch your video? Who did what? What? This is the gaming witch. The gaming witch is a YouTuber now. Hold on, don't don't insult the gaming witch. She's a nice lady. Sure. The gaming witch is a YouTuber now. She is. She is. Congratulations to the gaming witch. Chris makes a thousand dollars a month. No, that's this is my worst month. I love it. I love all the money you're making, buddy. It's my worst month. I don't give a fuck. You're making money. That that's that's old. <laughs> old. Leon, don't take my job. I don't think I want that shitty job. Leon's doing Smaggle's lousy contrarian act, but actually funny. I mean, because I have a natural ability to engage the conversation as best as I can while being a dick at the same time. AIDS. I love that she was like, he is an AIDS advocate. How dare you make fun of it? Oh, somebody said Maybe. I. Somebody said I hope they hope I die spontaneously. Death a million microaggressions towards Chris and Bob Blacks. <laughs> this has to be a troll account. Motherfucker Mudahar is going back and forth with all these horn dogs on Twitter. Yeah, I saw. He's fighting with uh, some of the salt gaming content creators, too. Chuds. Leon reminds me of the style from Chud's comment community. Chud's, yeah, he's... Leon's not a Chud, though. He would never describe himself as a Chud. What the fuck is a Stylo? Stylo? Oh, Stylo is a guy in um, fucking Chud's community that'll, like, do contrarian bits. You know? He's the black guy it's... in Chud's community. <laughs> That's at least what they're saying. Tips is mods ban Leon a minority. Yep. Yeah, they banned a minority. It's kind of racist. Yep. 
So whenever these dipshit white people try me so fucking hard to argue about how they want to have rights and be not oppressed and victims, remember the victim Olympics happens every day, and how the you, black man how do you feel wins. About this? this is an old tweet. It's somebody who got into an argument with me, and tips there. Funny enough, how is pedo sympathizer an insult to you? Yeah, I have empathy and sympathy for people who have done nothing wrong, can't control their attractions, and are nevertheless demonized and spoken about in the most disgusting. No, veteran. no, no, no. This no. person, this person needs to get locked in a cage. <laughs> Tipsters mods ban Leon, a mother of six. That's crazy. So true, bro. He is a mother of six. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> I'm trying to think, because I have to fucking go soon. But I have nothing else on the docket. I just wanted to laugh at that one video. I'm too mad didn't die for this. Damn. That's <laughs> <Yes>. crazy. <laughs> You motherfuckers sure do know how to fucking. <laughs> <laughs> My God. Dude, James Key is a fucking freak, though. I'll admit it. Like, Too Mad was a crazy person, high on drugs, but James Key, like, just straight up, like, slandered a dead man. <laughs> My tea's gone cold. No, I don't care. It's like. <laughs> yeah. Got out of bed at all. Chris, the AIDS advocate. I am the greatest AIDS advocate of all time. I'm all for it unless you're one of those people that's like, I don't have to disclose that I have AIDS. <laughs> those type of people need to be chained. They need to be locked in a fucking cage. They need to be like, thrown out. I don't have to disclose that I have AIDS. Are there actually people that believe that? Uh, yes. What the fuck do you mean? Why? Wait. So there's a whole group that's like, I don't have to disclose I have AIDS, which means I people can have sex with me and not know, and then they can contract AIDS from me. Did you not? There's a there's a small percentage of people that do that shit, and they'd be like, well, if the topic doesn't come up, I won't mention it. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, yikes! Yeah, those people need to be fucking rooted out from society. Like you can't help you can't help AIDS. Obviously, it's a horrible disease. But at the same time, lying about it to somebody that you're having sex with is bad. You can't you can't help it, but fuck, you can help not spreading. God. If Magic Johnson could beat HIV, then Dark Viper could beat Super AIDS. I don't think Dark Viper has the amount of money that Magic Johnson has. Magic Johnson literally beat hiv because he's just a super rich guy there's a whole south park episode on it have you ever heard of gift givers what the fuck is that what is that even in context to uh is it supposed to be a weed distributor Do I need to like find something deeper than that? I'm I'm not sure what you mean, pigeon. Cause I just Googled it and the first thing I see is a weed business and then bad gifting advice. The meds for AIDS is like fifty five K. Yeah, it's not cheap. People that give HIV and AIDS to people. They have a group? <gasps> Bug chasers. Okay. <gasps> yeah. HIV positive men who seek unprotected sex with HIV negative partners so they can uh, circumvent their partners being to being HIV positive. Ooh. Ew. Chris, Chris, are you excited for the Deadpool movie? Uh, kinda. Hugh Jackman's in it as Wolverine, so I, you know, check my, Discord. My 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 nostalgia is overload. Oh my fucking god! What the hell is that? <laughs> There's no way that's the actual popcorn bucket. If it is, I'm buying. Wait, I will be seeing you all in the ER. Ryan Reynolds is tagged in this. E. 
like it's one of those things where it's like it's so fucking weird. I hope it's real. I no. Nobody nobody should be okay with that. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? What do I mean? No, bro. This shit is actually it's funny. It's literally it's <laughs> Who allowed them to do that? Look, the gaming, which one was one? The Wolverine one is kind of interesting. The Deadpool one, not so much. What? I'll be honest. I like the Wolverine one more if I had the, like, gun to my head. What is with you and guns to your head? You're the one that always says gun to your head. Yeah, because I give you uh, the option of the worst option or the equally worst option. Yeah. Not which one you're sticking your dick in. I wouldn't stick my dick in either one of these. That's a missed opportunity. Someone just goes in chat, actor should have butter, hold the popcorn. <laughs> 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 oh, God. Somebody's going to stick their dick in that for science? Yeah, there's going to be fucking TikToks about it, probably. Now, the real question is... How big is the hole and who's getting stuck? Nobody. I, they got to make it big enough to stick your hand inside. And? Well, I'm not. I don't think of things as sticking my cock into things. Hmm. 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 You're ridiculous. I can't wait for Trump to send you fucking illegal. <laughs> <laughs> I am not an illegal. Are you sure? I am positive. I am mm. positive I am not an illegal. Mm. Tips is about to buy 10 of those in the name of Kevils. My fucking My God. God. My God. <laughs> Why are you people like this? That's too funny. This why. All right. Why? <laughs> all right. What time is it? Oh, shit. I got to get ready for the thing. All right. I will talk to you all later. Leon will play Helldivers after my meeting tomorrow. My pronoun meeting fucking. Uh, I do. I have. I have, I fucking. I talk to people. That I have a team of people that help me on shit. I got to keep them in the loop. A meeting. It's yes. Irrelevant. It's called a meeting, asshole. You know it's what else am a, I supposed to call it? Called a Discord call. You fucking spade, bro. It's when there's more than three people. It's a, a meeting. meeting. It's you're, a Discord you're, you're, call. <laughs> you fucking spade. I try to make Hold things on. sound. I personally, for me, I want to treat this a lot more important. I do. So I'm calling it important things. Fuck you. One more. My pronouns are that they. Please don't talk to me like I'm a dog. What? Who said that? <laughs> I'm going to let you go. I'll talk to you later. Look, look at this. Dis what? Check. Ooh, whoever the fuck's name is Brianna Wu. Oh, Brianna Wu. My pronouns are not they. Please don't talk to me like I'm a dog. Base Brianna. Yeah, it's over for her. She cooked. She had bottom and kept digging anyone with any respect for her is brain dead. Bro, Brianna Wu is a piece of shit, so whatever. Brianna Wu had a fucking terrible take about black people liking comic book characters. Yes, she, she has constant terrible takes. That is what she's known for. She got famous off of terrible takes. But my introduction to this Chinese abomination was her having a bad fucking black. Uh, black people are supposed to like black comic book characters take, and it was just like, wow. Yep, she, your she does that. Your expectations are so low. She does that. Like, and Chris, I will leave you with this. <laughs> pretty pretty soon, you and I are going to be celebrating the most infamous tipster W of all time. <laughs> And always remember, I am Adolf Hitler, okay. commander of the Third Reich. Okay. Okay, that's not happening. All right, I'm going to send you guys over to Chud. Go tell Chud I said hi. Have a great night, everyone. We should be live tomorrow, even if it's just like a throwaway stream. I'm going to keep this one up uh, just because laughing at doodle tones is too funny, and I don't feel like having confusing clip it out.
So see ya.